I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to understand the relation between golden ratio and Fibonacci sequence. In the previous video we found that the ratio of consecutive terms in Fibonacci sequence is 1.618, right? Remember that part. Now the question here is, golden ratio is defined by a point on a line segment AB so that phi equals to AC divided by CB equals to AB divided by AC. Determine phi to the nearest three decimal places. Compare it with the ratio of consecutive terms which Fibonacci sequence approaches. Now that ratio which we calculated between Tn divided by Tn minus 1, uh, it approaches a value which is 1.618. Eight. We did it for uh, 12 terms and that is the value which we got. Now we will explore what golden ratio is and see the relation between the two. Now let's get back to the definition of golden ratio. We are talking about line segments now. Let us say this is my line segment AB, right? So, so it says golden ratio is defined by the point on a line segment AB. So this is the point line AB and there's a point C on this line so that phi is equal to AC AC divided by CB which is equals to AB AB is whole part whole line AB divided by AC the larger part AC right so another way to remember this is this ratio is basically AB is the whole line I could write this ratio as let me rewrite this in the reverse order AB is whole over the larger part AC is the larger part right equals to larger part over the smaller part right so AC is the larger part over CB which is smaller part. So that is how you can remember the ratio very easily. right? Now to find what this ratio is, let us say that this whole is one unit long. right? So this A to B is one unit. Correct? Let us assume that part. right? And let us say that this larger part is X. In that case the smaller part will be 1 minus X. Is that okay? So that is what it is. Now we'll place these values in this ratio and then find what phi is. So what you get from here is if I cross multiply I get or let me write the ratio first. AC is X and CB is 1 minus X. So we get X over 1 minus X is equals to AB is the whole thing which is 1 and AC is the larger part X, right? So if I cross multiply, I get X square equals to 1 minus X. Is that okay? We can bring all the terms to the left side. So we get quadratic equation. X square plus X minus 1 equals to 0. Now this quadratic equation can be solved using quadratic formula, correct? So let us solve this equation using quadratic formula. So where x is equals to minus b, let me write down the quadratic formula here for you. It is x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a, right? Here a is 1 for you, right? a is 1, b is 1, and c is minus 1, right? So let us substitute these values. So minus b means minus 1 plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times ac. Now c is minus 1, a is 1, divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times 1, correct? So that gives you minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4, right? Minus minus makes it plus, divide by 2. That gives you x as equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. 
Now, since we are talking about the lengths, they are always positive. So, we will take the positive value, which is minus 1 plus square root 5 over 2. So, that is the exact value of x, correct? Now, how much is this value? This is, this is the value of x, ac. Okay. Now, the x value here is equal to, let's use calculator and find it out. Right. So, so we have square root of 5 minus 1, square root of 5, let's say equals to, minus 1 equals to, divided by 2 equals to. In decimals, this is equal to 0 0.61. 80339 okay that is the value of x this length is x the ratio that means 1 if the 1 is the whole thing then x is 0 0.61803339 it is irrational number it is not a repeating decimal okay now what is phi equals to now phi is equals to whole over ac 1 over ac right whole over the large value so it is AB over AC, which is 1 over X, right? So what is 1 over this number? 1 over 0 0.61803339 is equal to how much? So we already have the answer with us. We'll do 1 divided by answer equals to, okay, decimal value. It is equals to 1.618033. Nine nine, right? So that is the value of golden ratio, one point six one eight zero. Now, what did we find? We found that the ratio of consecutive terms is one point six one eight. If you extend this, you will approach this value of golden ratio. That is how these two things are so well connected. I hope with this you can appreciate the application. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and go through some more videos which relate these two things. Thank you and all the best.